sleep. We all need it, but not all of us get enough of it. Whether it's a night out or a prolonged exposure to sleep deprivation, the various effects can be seen throughout the day. The main culprit of a lack of sleep is teens in high school. We interviewed Mr. Brian Heston, RPSGTCCSH, who is the manager at the Wyndham Hospital Sleep Lab. How much should teens be sleeping? Teens and adolescents should get between 8 and 10 hours of sleep, and that's what our most recent research shows. Uh, what's interesting is uh, another recent study showed that of all the teens uh, queried during that study, only 15% actually reported getting at least eight and a half hours of sleep on a school night. We took a survey among the students of ACT and got varying responses. 0% said they got nine hours of sleep or more. 43.2% said they got between six to eight hours of sleep. 51.4% said they get between four to six hours of sleep. And 5.4% get between two to four hours of sleep per night. But how would this lack of sleep affect teens academically? There has been strong correlation between grade point average and the amount of sleep that the participants in the study were, were getting. And what that, one of the studies looked at specifically was the college all-nighter, where students will stay up all night cramming prior to the following day's examination. And what the study showed was students who actually slept the night before the examination did better than those that stayed up all night cramming. Uh, and again, that was attributed to just the lack of sleep. What is the difference between a student who has gotten enough sleep versus a student who is sleep deprived? Well, I think that we've all seen it. Uh, teenagers <laughs> sometimes can be uh, difficult to deal with just by virtue of being teenagers. However, sleep deprivation sort of exacerbates those types of behaviors. Uh, and this reflects even in adults. Uh, sleep deprived people will be irritable. It makes it difficult for them to concentrate. Uh, in students, this uh, shows up as a symptom of having uh, poor academic uh, progress. Um, just become grouchy. But grades aren't the only thing that is affected by a lack of sleep. There are potential health risks involved in not getting enough sleep. But what are they? There was a, a continuing study called the Wisconsin Sleep Cohort, which has been monitoring people between the ages of uh, 30 and I believe 60 years of age uh, and looking at cardiovascular issues such as hypertension, coronary artery disease, as well as diabetes, and have found a strong correlation between chronic sleep deprivation and those sleep disorders. So not all of these problems and disorders that are associated with sleep deprivation are irreversible. However, the longer they exist, the less likely it is that it can be adjusted without medical intervention. We asked Mr. Heston if there's any advice he has for teens. Particularly in our 24-hour society, uh, everyone, and I think that this applies particularly to teens and adolescents, we need to separate ourselves from our electronic devices, particularly at night. 